The clouds today provided some really neat views and it got started early. That is uh, Gardendale First Baptist Church. David Graves took this photo early this morning, and if you look very closely out on the fringes, you can see the halo and the sun dogs on either side of the sun. That happened early this Monday morning. Since then, we've seen some gray sky at times. We've seen some sun at times. Temperatures managed to get up close to 80 in a lot of places, and we've been dry. But now there are a couple of areas of patchy rain trying to work into Cleburne County and Randolph County. Very light, inconsequential kind of rain. Then to the south, moisture is increasing over Mississippi as a major severe weather outbreak is in its third day across Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Missouri. Tremendous rain, tornadoes, severe thunderstorms, all that stays to our west as we watch for big changes in the overall picture for us later this week with a better chance of some rain. So for Election Day, we get spotty showers and a breeze. More showers are moving in on Wednesday, especially to the southeast of Birmingham. And then there's finally a soaker that should get all of us in the forecast as we go down through the next seven days. Let's talk here about Election Day on Tuesday. A chance of some scattered showers. Will it rain all day? Absolutely not. Will you have to maybe wait in the rain if you're having to stand outside a polling place? That's a possibility, but it will only rain about 15 to 20 minutes at a time. Have some rain gear with you if you expect to be outside for a long period. But this is passing showers, not all day rain, and there's a good chance that you may miss it completely without having to deal with it. On Wednesday, the showers get a little heavier down across southeast Alabama. There may be a few here and there, Coleman, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, through Shelby County, up to Etowah County. I don't think it rains all day on Wednesday either, but the better chance of more widespread rain will be across the east central and southeastern part of the state. I don't think it rains much on Wednesday on Thursday, but then we get into Friday and Saturday and there's some pretty significant rain that will start to move in and most of it is going to line up near and northwest of Interstate 59 and I-20 59 heavy rain at times potentially give us more than one to two inches of rain through Saturday night. By Sunday showers are moving out and we are cooler and a little more comfortable about a week from today.